The rapper Eminem loves murder. Matthew 12, 32 says, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Eminem makes a living off running his mouth, and his lyrics bear witness to the fact that he loves murder. As Jesus Christ said himself, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And it's crazy that you even have to say this, but all throughout the Bible, you see that murder is wrong. Exodus 20 and verse 13 says, Thou shalt not kill. Deuteronomy 5.17 says, Thou shalt not kill. And you would think that would be something you just don't have to preach or teach on. But Eminem loves murder. And people love Eminem. And we are clearly in the last days of the church age right before the rapture is about to take place and the world's going about to go through tribulation but Romans 129 says being filled with all unrighteousness fornication wickedness covetousness maliciousness full of envy murder once again you see the Bible put murder of course in a negative light it's not a good thing murder is a sin that Jesus Christ died on the cross for. The Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross, was buried, and resurrected to pay for the sins of the world. We just have to accept the payment by coming to Him as the guilty sinners that we are and put our trust in Him to pay our sin debt. In 1 John chapter 2 and verse 2 it says, And He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So the Lord Jesus died for the sins of Eminem. The same sins that Eminem glorifies in his music. Jesus Christ was killed for killers. He was killed for whores and whoremongers and drunkards and liars and any type of sinner you can think of. Jesus died for those people. Jesus Christ was killed for you and me because we're all sinners. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the Lord Jesus gives a reason in Matthew 24 about why the coming tribulation time period would be so bad. And he says, Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Eminem has no love for people. He loves money and he loves self. Second Timothy 3 says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. And you can already see that now. So you can clearly see why in the tribulation, Jesus said in that coming tribulation, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. There's not going to be any love. It's just going to be love for self. And as the Bible talks about in 1 Timothy 6.10, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So why does Eminem influence millions of kids all over the world to be wicked because of the love of money why does he rap about murder and rape and sex and all these things it's because he loves money and that stuff is what sells because people love wicked things Eminem is nothing but a satanic puppet who has sold himself to work evil in the sight of the Lord for fame and fortune and the devil came to the Lord Jesus Christ and showed him the kingdom, kingdoms of the world. In Luke chapter 4 verses 5 through 7. It says, And the devil taking him up into an high mountain. Showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee. And the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me. And to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me. All shall be thine. So sometime somewhere. Way back the devil approached him and him. Probably not the way he did with. The Lord Jesus, where he audibly spoke, but somewhere way back, Eminem made a conscience decision and continues to make the decision that he will damn as many people to hell with him as he can for fame and fortune. That's why he continuously comes out with more music every year, over and over. Every year he's got more music coming out. I mean, how much money do you need? How, many, how rich do you have to be? But the hypocrisy of Eminem pretending to be against gun violence at the end of his New Darkness video is pathetic. This is from a man whose album is named, the very album 
that the darkness song is on is on an album called Music to be Murdered by. Yet at the end of the at the end of the video it has vote for, you know, the right person and and help be against gun violence and whatnot. But his music has glorified the sin of murder repeatedly throughout his rap career. So the hypocrisy of this is beyond belief. He said himself in his song, My words are weapons. And that couldn't be any more true because he has songs where he goes into great detail about murdering someone. In his song, Unaccommodated, on his new CD, he makes light of what happened at the Ariana Grande concert where people were killed. And he just pretty much is just making a mockery of everyone. Revelation 21.8 says, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So Eminem probably hasn't ever killed anybody, but that is what is on his mind. Eminem loves blood, and his words have murdered the minds of many people for 20 plus years now. Like wicked King Manasseh in the Bible, Eminem provokes others to sin. If you've read about that wicked king in 2 Kings 21.16, he says, Moreover, Manasseh shed innocent blood very much till he had filled Jerusalem from one end to another, beside his sin wherewith he made Judah to sin, and that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. So in a way, when Eminem's songs play on iTunes or YouTube or the radio, it is like shedding innocent blood. Each day some kid hears Eminem for the first time and their innocent mind is defiled by a mind full of murder. Proverbs, or Psalm 711 says, God judgeth the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. Every day God is angry with the wicked and he's angry with Eminem and the music that's coming out and just corrupting the minds of billions of people. Look at the most famous videos on YouTube. They don't have millions of views. They have billions of views. A lot of people think, well, what you're talking about is irrelevant. What does this have to do with sharing the gospel? What does this have to do with the Lord Jesus Christ? It's got a lot to do with that because this is how I reach lost people. A lot of the stuff I have on here, it's to edify the saints. It's to feed people with the, the word of God. But stuff like this, this is to reach the lost people. You know, a lost person is going to click this video and they're going to hear the gospel shared to them. I mean, there's a lot more people searching Eminem on YouTube than there is people searching Bible stuff on YouTube. But Eminem is a sinner in the hands of an angry God. And John 3.36 says, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. So if Eminem doesn't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ then he is going to go to hell for all eternity. And right now, presently, the wrath of God is abiding on his soul. With the blood of millions of men and women and children on his hands, that he has led down the path to destruction. And the Lord Jesus Christ talks about that path in Matthew seven thirteen through 14. He says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So if Eminem woke up in hell, he wouldn't have the pain pills to pop to relieve the torment. He couldn't wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning, because they have no rest day nor night in hell. Instead of digging his way to hell, he would be trying to find a way to dig his way out of hell. On the road to hell... Eminem is just another satanic puppet as roadside entertainment to keep you from taking an exit and turning to Jesus Christ to be your crucified, buried, and risen Savior. But let me send you a truly disturbing warning about hell for a few minutes. In Deuteronomy 32:22, it describes hell as a burning fire that is kindled by the wrath of God. In 2 Samuel 22:6, it describes hell as a place of sorrow. In Job 11:8, it describes hell as a deep place. In Psalms 9:17, it shows us hell is where the wicked go. Psalms 86:13 lets us know that hell has lower compartments. Psalms 116:3 says there's pain in hell. Proverbs 5.5 5 shows someone can lead you to hell. 
Proverbs 7.27 puts hell in connection with a chamber of death. Proverbs 15.24 lets everyone know that hell is beneath your feet. Proverbs 27.20 says hell is never full. Isaiah 5.14 lets us know hell enlarges itself. And Isaiah 14.9 also says it moves to meet you at your coming. Isaiah 28.15 explains someone can be at agreement with hell, just like him and him. And Matthew 5.22, the Lord Jesus calls it hell fire. So straight from the lips of the Lord Jesus Christ, you hear him call hell fire. Not the grave, not just a place you go to for a little while, but he calls it everlasting fire, a furnace of fire, a place where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. And you know what they say about Eminem? They say he spits fire. That's a slang term people use in rap music. To say, well, you know, he's a good rapper. But to me, that reminds me of what James said. Because in James 3, 6, it says, And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on the fire of hell. That describes the tongue of Eminem and every rapper that you hear today. Because their tongue is set on the fire of hell. They're spreading hell and sin, and deception into the minds of every person that listens. When Eminem raps, they say, man, this guy's a beast. That's another slang term people use to say about a rapper, that if they think he's good or not. But that reminds me of Revelation 20 and verse 10, where it says, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night, forever and ever. The beast in the Bible is the Antichrist. Being a beast isn't good. Eminem may be a brute beast, as the Bible would refer to him, but that's about it. And the book of Peter and Jude both talk about that if you'd like to hear more about a brute beast. And that's exactly what Eminem is. But the same way the Lord has preachers to lead people to heaven, Satan has men to lead people to hell. In Jeremiah 5, 26 and 27, it says, For among my people are found wicked men, They lay wait, as he that setteth snares, they set a trap, they catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they are become great and wax and rich. But the influence of a three-minute song, with the devil's inspiration on it, is beyond comprehension. A three-minute song by such a satanic mouthpiece can destroy minds for years and years. I heard an old Eminem song playing at work that came out when I was in third or fourth grade, and I began to think how many millions of times this three-minute song has been playing. It's insane how much damage the devil can do with just a three-minute song. And there are people in hell today who were distracted by a three-minute song. And if they could just have those minutes back alive on this earth, just those three minutes out of that real darkness that they're in, in hell right now, they would beg God for mercy. They would beg God to save them. But the thing is, though, if you're still alive on this earth, you can be saved right now and you don't have to beg. The Lord Jesus Christ does not make you beg to be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and is offering the free gift of salvation to you if you will just take it. It's not like God is way out of reach and you have to beg for his salvation. He places it right in front of you and says, Here, it's a free gift. Take it. You don't have to beg. You just have to receive it. While Eminem is a roadblock on your way to heaven, messages like I'm giving you now are a roadblock on your way towards hell. A warning and a call for you to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ because you won't be an Eminem stand in hell. You'll hate Eminem for being one of the many devilish distractions. People say, Eminem is my savior. If it wasn't for his music, I don't know where I'd be at. But they're wrong. Acts 4.12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Eminem is one man that leads millions to hell. Jesus Christ is one man who is also God. That will get you to heaven. The Lord Jesus Christ said himself in John 14, 6, Jesus saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It doesn't matter how much of a sinner you are, the Lord will save you. Romans 10, 13 says, For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
So the gospel is simple. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ died on the cross, he was buried, and rose again the third day. All you have to do to be saved is come to Jesus Christ as the guilty sinner you are, because every person listening to this has sinned. And if you want to be saved, come to him as the guilty sinner that you are, and put your trust on him and what he did on the cross to be your payment for sins. Then you can be saved and have eternal life. But I hope if you've not been saved that you'll take this serious and you'll come to Jesus Christ who shed his blood on the cross and put your faith in him and his shed blood to be your payment for sin. And if you're already saved and you've been listening to this satanic music by this satanic puppet named Eminem, that you will repent of that and start doing what the Lord would have you to do, get rid of the music, get a King James Bible, get you some good music and start listening to that.